Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Salala, Oman, the second largest city in the country. And today I'm going to show you something really incredible. I'm going to take you to see camels being milked. Right now, right here, you can see the camels crossing the roads. Look at this guys, incredible. So the way it works here is that these camels aren't wild. They belong to a farmers over here, right? Every single day they cross this street, this highway. They go to that area where the water is, closer to the beach. And then later in the day, they come back straight back to their farm. Look at the babies, look at the babies. Let's get close. Look how many camels there are. Easily about four dozen. Lots of babies, lots of babies. So everybody has to stop. A lot of people are just crossing, not letting them pass. I mean, it's unfortunate, but as you can see, <laughs> so many babies. So many. This is why I wanted to come down here for this experience, to see the camels. Wow, there's so many more. It's easy, another two or three dozen over there. Infinite camels. Camel heaven down here in Salala. Okay, let's get back in the car and let's go milk the camels. Follow me. My man. Hala. You're back. Hala. All right, Khalid, King Khalid. Yeah. So what are we doing? Now we're going to the camel farm now. For well, this is the time for milk time now. Milk time, huh? Yeah. So tell me how this works. I mean, the farmers are here. Yeah. Every day they let them walk out. They go with their calf. They cross. They come yeah. back. Yeah. And that's it. Every day in the morning, around 8 o'clock, the camel crossing the other side, looking for the grass. And same time, about half past 4 or 5 o'clock, they come back again, crossing the road to the farms. Like clockwork. Yeah. So we're going now to one of the farmer's houses and he's going to milk the camels. Yes, and we can drink fresh one. Fresh? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. We go drink fresh milk from camels. Yeah, oh. Direct. Direct? No, not direct. <laughs> yeah, maybe around in this maybe 40 people, farm, farmers here. 40 farmers. Yeah. And each one has like this many. Yes. Some of them, they have 100, 50, 70. Wow. Some, all the more, more than 200 camels. Incredible. Yeah, because I mean, this group is easily like 70. Yes. Easily. Yeah. So many. We just passed e another like 40. Over here you have many more. Oh wow. Look at the babies. They're making noises. They're crying for their mother. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So we're gonna just sit here and wait for the camels to come? That's the plan? Perfect. Oh wow, what a difference. In the shade, it drops like 10 degrees. And now they cook tea. Oh, tea? We will make tea now. Ah, mashallah. <laughs> okay. Tutto bene. Tutto bene. Tutto bene. Tutto bene. Yeah. Ma voi parli italiano? Italiano. Poco italiano. Sì? Sì, sì. No, io parlo italiano. Mi madre è italiana, sì. Come stai? Bene, bene. Tutto bene. Guarda, guarda la mappa d'Italia. Guarda, guarda. Guarda la mappa d'Italia, sì, sì, sì. Camello, camello. Camello, sì, eh, sì. Camello. <laughs> And over here, they're starting the fire to make the tea. Okay, right here. Assalamu alaikum. How many camels do you have here? You got milk now? It is. Look at the babies, guys. Look at the babies. <gasps> so pretty. <laughs> so here he has three little babies. He said that they don't really go out because they're too young. But over here, as you can see, all the camels are getting here. <gasps> and is this the mom? She doesn't look happy. You gotta be careful with these camels. I have to go inside here. <gasps> look at this. But the baby's here. Gotta be careful with the baby. Man, how much is that? It's a lot of milk. Wow, it's like so frothy. So we're milking this mother. Right over here, we have some of her babies. What they do is they tie her legs so she can't kick. You gotta be careful, you gotta be careful. But it's a lot of milk. You can see it's very foamy. Oh man, so fresh. <laughs> Directly from the breast. Done? Yes. Yeah, let's finish. Yes, Halib. Halib? Milk, milk. Let's finish. Number two camels. Okay. Yeah. Very curious, huh? Okay, can I touch? Okay, no, no problem. No? Just don't want her to bite. You gotta be careful, you know? Hey, 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 careful, careful. Gorgeous animal. Beautiful. And then the baby behind her, is this hers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Don't worry. Don't worry, girl. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's all sand, huh? All right, let's go milk another camel. There's so many camels here. It's endless. And they keep coming. Every few minutes, one or two arrive. Look, he has a tie. This one's leg up, right? And now he's getting it ready. The baby keeps going in to pull. I'm out of breath, I'm out of breath. Thankfully, they tied her leg up because every four seconds, she keeps getting her face really close to me. I'm like a little nervous about it, but it's okay. Get close here. How many times a day do they do this? Like how many camels does he have? Just uh, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Oh, it takes 15? Uh, okay, okay. So this farmer only has two females that he milks and it takes around 15 minutes to completely empty the milk. And that's it right there? Yeah. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Guys, look at this. Look how hot it is. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Look at that. Nice and frothy. Like, like. And it's good. Mmm. It's hot. <laughs> that's good. Oh, he, he released her. <laughs> so good. Do I drink it? <laughs> All right, let's go try it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 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 You ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Shoes off. So King Khaled over here is telling me the way you do it is like this. You just pick it up and drink. Like that. I don't take it in the top. Mm, nice and hot. Can we give you the small? It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Look at how much yeah, foam there is, how much froth. It's nice. <laughs> Not bad. Pretty good. It's healthy, right? Yeah. It's different. One more. Yeah, one more. Uh, you sure? Okay. Luckily, I took Petal Bismol today, so I'll be good. And look at this. Like, it's amazing. Mm, so hot. Mm. Wow. So different, unique. You know, I don't really touch milk. I try to stay away from it. Obviously, I'll have it with like tea and coffee sometimes, but I try to lay off it. This is great. Mm. Tasty. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little different. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's camel. <laughs> Give me a whole bowl. It's amazing. Yeah. No sugar. Very nice. Of course, no sugar. You haven't added anything. This is pure. It's just foamy. Yeah, hot. Good. Fresh. It's good. This is straight. Fresh. I know. Unpasteurized. Mm. Hey, you guys do it every day, right? I think I'll be fine. I have a little more. <laughs> He's telling me that this gives you a lot of energy. Super energy. Good <laughs> boy. I mean, it's good. It's not bad. Very nice. It, it tastes a lot, a lot lighter, a lot more watery than like whole milk. Whole milk is like thick. Like cow milk is thick. This is very watery. So you guys usually do this? Just hang out, relax, relax, relax. Have some tea. Mmm, nice tea. Mmm, tasty. What else did he put in here? Nothing? <laughs> well, that was an experience. Being out here with you guys. Bedouin style? Yeah. Style Bedouin. Yeah. This Omani. This Bedouin. This Bedouin and this German. Schöner Frau. Bayern Munich. Schöner Frau. Schöner Frau. <laughs> you guys are too funny. 
Cracking me up, man. Cracking me bella, up. Bella, bella. Bella, bella donna. Dove sei adesso? Volare. Oh. Cantare. Oh. Col balone. Oh. oh, oh. <ride> e tu non sei la de più. Na, 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 na. Oh, my stomach, my stomach. She's <laughs> too much, too much, too much. He's like, is your stomach okay? I'm like, oh, I drank too much milk. Too much milk. Very good, very good, right? I did a good job. I drank a lot. Oh, wow, look at the camels. The sunset, the camels. This feels like Rajasthan right now. Just the light. Wow, what a beauty. Look at all the babies, guys, showing off his teeth. Hey, buddy, can I touch you? Beautiful animal. Beautiful. Full of sand. Full of sand. Okay. Hey, Chokran, Chokran. Chokran. I appreciate it. Amazing guy. Thank you so much. Khaled will bring you right to him. If you want to try camel milk, come to Khaled. Khaled, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, Isa. Chokran. All right, let's go. Bye, camels. Bye. Love you guys. All right, guys, let's go to Salala and uh, find some food. Maybe some street food. Why not? Around 400,000 people okay. live in the Dufa region. And most of them, they live in Salala, the capital of the okay. Dufa region. Okay. And some of them, they live in other cities like Taqa, Mirbat, Thamrit, Rakhiut, small, small cities. But most of the people, they live in the center of Salala. And is it like very spread out? Because right now I'm just seeing lots of like malls, hotels. Yes, yes. So it's spread out. Yeah. And are there a lot of Yemenites or Yemenese people? Are there a lot of Pakistani, Indians? Is there have, immigration? Uh, a lot of, from uh, most of them, more from India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. All right, guys, it is nighttime. It's 7.30. I just dropped off my bags at the Muscat International Hotel. That's where I'm staying for the night. And I'm walking two blocks to the fish market. They said that's the best place to get Omani food in the area. He says, walk into the fish market. You choose what you want. They'll make it spicy. You can go fish. You can go octopus. You can go shrimp. Whatever you want. They got it. And lots of birds here. <laughs> Amazing. So this is the center of Salala. Over here to the right, we have lots of mid-rises. Lots of restaurants on the bottom. Some Chinese, some Indian. And across the street, we have the Sultan Caboose Mosque. The main mosque of the city right here. Massive mosque, beautiful minarets. And we're only one block away. They said the next light, make a left, and there's a seafood market. Can't wait, because I had seafood in Sur, super spicy, seafood platter. It was phenomenal. Oh, it's gonna be another epic seafood feast. So I'm walking around and it's like a vegetable market here, grocery store, and they say the fish market's over here. I don't really see it. I guess this is it. Yeah, it's not like a real big fish market, not like a covered one. Oh, there is fish right here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, assalamu alaikum. Oh, what do you have there? Oh, tilapia. Oh, tilapia. tilapia. Oh, okay, okay. Where do I buy fish to eat? Over there? Show me, show me, my friend, show me. Assalamu alaikum. This fish. This fish? Yeah, Okay. Wow. Where are you from? Bangladesh. Bangladeshis love their fish. Of course. Bamaputra River. Okay, so they have a bunch of fish there. Oh wow, look at that fish. It's a big fish. Nice. How much for this one to try a plate? This is Tolabia, uh, two men. Okay, so this restaurant's the only one I see at the moment, and he's saying they have pretty good fish. It's all Bengali food, right? So Bengali, lots of spices. And right here next to us, we have the fish market. Assalamu alaikum. The fish market. So small fish market, right? Obviously, it's the end of the day. It is, uh, it's like 7.45. They close at 8. They said they may close like at 8.30, but, you know, try to get here earlier if you want to have a dinner, like a seafood dinner. What else they got? Oh, they have some fresh fish here. Lots of fresh fish. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, they have some mussels. So this is like a snapper. What else they got? Some of these fish, I don't even know, but they look really, really plump. Really, really, like, meaty. So like them. You good? Bengali? Are you Bengali? Bengalis love their fish, man. But all the restaurants are closed, only this one's open? This is uh, fish and grill, but only grill. Yeah, no, I just want fish, man, only fish. And the reason I say Bengalis like their fish is because they have the Brahmaputra River, the Brahmaputra that goes through Assam and then straight into Bengal, right? So I've been to West Bengal, Calcutta, right next door. They are a big fish culture. I guess we'll go in and try a fish. Let's try it. Oh, look, he has some shrimp here. What fish is this? 
This is Dala Island. This is a big name Island. Island, okay. So you added some spices this and then you throw into the oven. Masala. This Masala. One, this one, Manaya. Oh, uh, Manaya. Which is this one? Which fish is this? This one is a big name Manaya. So it has some vegetables. Nice. All baked, right? So all your fish is baked in the oven. So I'll get some fish. I'm hungry. What do we get? What are you having here? This is mussels. This is octopus. And I need all this in my stomach. <laughs> I need something. Uh, this one, how much? This one, uh, six kilos. Real. Six real. Six six real. Real. The whole thing, the whole thing? Only one. The whole thing? Only one. Only one. That's a lot though, that's a lot. I'll, I'll have a fish. 7.30, almost everything's closed at these two restaurants. I'm getting some fish. I wanted some mussels from shrimp, but they said that's to go. That's to take home and cook it yourself. I'm like, okay. Chokran. And here we go. Hey, chutney, no chutney, spicy. So, I don't even know what I got here. <laughs> it's a fish. That's all I know, it's half a fish, right? So, full of like masalas. Over here we have some greens. This is the best thing about Arabia. Mm-hmm. Mm. Karo mm Ruda. Mm-hmm. Chokran. Shukriya. Mmm. Oh, the tomatoes. And over here, we have some spicy chutney. Okay. Right there, spicy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> My friend, very spicy this one. Spicy chutney. So, how do you eat this fish? Well, it's going here like this, right? Pull it out, get with the bones, lots of bones. I already see them. <laughs> Just gotta get in here and dig. Lots of meat, still really hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice masalas, mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna dip this into the chutney. Oh man, super meaty. I have no idea what fish it is. We're, you know, talking and they can't communicate with me, so. It's okay. Mm hmm. Mmm. Now it's a bone. Mm hmm. And the salad is not too spicy. Nice and light. I'm going to do is just dip it right here in the chutney. Mm hmm. And then go over here. Literally just grab. Bunch of arugula. Mmm. Nice and fresh. Wow. Over here, we have some vegetables. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tomato, onions. Oh, yeah. Dig deep. I personally love coming to places like this. Getting lost. Guys can't talk with me, they don't speak English. It's okay. I'm still eating. Mm -hmm. And wherever the fish market, there's always cats. Mm -hmm. Nice fish. Very nice. Dig deep in here. Get some more. Mm -hmm. mm. He's saying the Arab name is Minea. Minea. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So spicy. I love the outside. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> the outside. Spicy, crispy. Mmm. Very nice. Pull this off like that. Move to the side. Let's go in here. Grab all this meat. Yeah, it's like that. Big piece. Love it. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, I can eat this every day. Drown it. Like that, right? It's better. It's better. So it absorbs all the chutney. Mm hmm Still lots of bones in here though. And that's it, my friends. That was our adventure tonight. We went to see the camels, to milk the camels and try their milk. Mm -hmm. It was very cool. And then I ended up here, very unexpected, 
I had no plans. So I just wanted to do something different. I just was like, you know, we're gonna do something cool, authentic, unique. Not really Omani, but at the same time, it's Omani fish mixed with some Bengali spices, right? Mmm. Mm. Very nice. Wow, chutney's great. It's spicy. It's tangy. Mm hmm. Like a lemon zest. You also have some cilantro and mint there, too. Mmm. Lots of fish. Mm -hmm. And then we came here to the fish market, ate some fish, and that's the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure here in Salala Oman. So good. This is my favorite part, man. Getting here with all the greens. Mm-hmm.